Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to deploy Google Chrome to your devices using Group Policy. So first of all, I'll be using a Windows Server 2022 and, and I'll be deploying Google Chrome to my Windows 11 and probably Windows 10 devices. So to actually install the Google Chrome, what you need to do first of all is actually to go to the Google Chrome um, website. You can see I'm going to actually leave this link in the description of this video. From here, just scroll down. When we scroll down a little bit, we, we can actually just click on download. It's going to download all the required files you need to actually um, install Google Chrome. So let me just go to File Explorer. And here on that download, you can see it's at, I've actually downloaded it's actually a zip file. So by opening that file, all, it contains all you need to actually configure and install Google Chrome using group policy. So what I did is actually on my C drive, I created a folder called software and this folder has been shared. So all my devices can actually have access to this folder. So it's very, very important you share the folder where you're going to actually, uh, where the software will be deployed from. If not, there may be some error message when the device tries to actually download and install software. So what we need to do right now is to go to Server Manager, go to Tools, and here we need to go to Group Policy Management. So let me just expand this maximize. And in Group Policy Management, I'm going to just, um, let me go to my computers. Kelp Global, I have an organization unit again called Kelp Global. So I want to actually deploy the software to all my devices. So I have all my devices here. So I'll be deploying, you can also have a Windows 8 device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new GPO and link it to this organization unit. So let me just call this um, Google Chrome and then click OK. So what we need to do is right click. And then click edit it's going to actually be a conf computer configuration let me maximize this so then i'll click on policies and here you can see we have the software settings so click on the software settings and then we can now click on software installer so what i can actually do is i can actually just right click on any space here or i can actually right click on the software installer and then click new and then package here package we're going to actually just browse to the location where we actually the location of that folder so i'm going to go to software and then open google chrome and here is actually the mse 64 bit google chrome software so just click open and it says we have two options here it's going to be assigned or we can actually just click on advanced but i'm not actually, actually going to assign this software to the user the user so the software can be deployed automatically when the device has received all the policies from the server so let's just click ok so it's going to take some few minutes for this so it reflects here in software installation here you can see here we go so right now the software actually now has been um, deployed but it will actually take some time for your device to actually receive all the policies so what you need to do is you actually need to go to i have a windows 11 device here so what we need to do is to actually fasten the installation of the google chrome as this moment if i go to my start menu and type google chrome You can see we don't have any Google Chrome here. So what I need to do right now is I'm going to just open the command prompt. And then we can do a GP update and then force. So sometimes you may also restart your device actually to actually um, allow the installation to go more faster. So here we go. You can see it says the computer policy update has completed successfully. I received some message which actually it has to do with uh, Microsoft Intune. So right now it says um, setting computer policies are enabled that can only run during startup. So what you need to do is just click yes, and then the computer is going to restart in some seconds. So let's just wait for. Let me pause this video. I'll come back when the device was started. Then we can see how the solution process is going. If I just enter my password. And then hit enter and just wait for some seconds
Here we go. You can see that before we even log on to our device, the Google Chrome has been actually installed on the background of this device. So let me just double click Google Chrome to see if the installation completed successfully or if it is still if it is still installing. Here you can see that the installation completed successfully without any issue. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. This is how you actually deploy Google Chrome to your Windows device using Group Policy. And please don't forget to like this video and share if you think this video can be of help to anyone. And so you can leave a comment and I will reply to your comment as quick as possible. Bye.